Good morning mga kamatters, mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Welcome to my fourth video in teaching fractions. Sana marami kayong matutunan sa araw na to. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel para updated kayo sa mga video lesson ko in learning math. Our lesson for this day is changing the similar fractions to similar fraction. This is a prerequisite in adding and subtracting the similar fractions. Kinakailangan yung matutunan ito bago kayo mag-add ng the similar fractions. Again, I am your teacher, Sir Johnny Olorbida. Remember, there are two types of fractions tulad ng sinabi ko dati. The similar fractions and the similar fractions. We all know that similar fractions have common denominator or their denominators are the same. Then the similar fractions are fractions having unlike denominators. So dito sa 3, 7 and 2, 7, naturuan ko na kayo kung paano siya i-plus, di ba? So today we are going to add 1, 7 and 2, 9. They are the similar fractions kaya kinakailangan ma-change muna natin sila sa similar fractions. At yan ay tuturo ko sa inyo. Handa na ba kayo? First, let us learn about LCD or the least common denominator. The LCD of a set of fractions is the lowest number that is multiple of the denominators. Take a look on, my, on this example, 1, 7, and 2, 9. What is the LCD of 7 and 9? Mag-isip kayo ng isang number na, kapa, na pwede nating i-divide sa 7 and 9. So what is the LCD of 7 and 9? So you can skip counting by 7 or skip counting by 9. So the answer is, that's correct, it's 63. So 63 will be our uh, LCD. Then we are going to divide this number to the denominator. 63 divided by 7. What is the answer? Yes, 9. Then multiply by the numerator. 9 times 1, that is 9. Very good. And na 63 divided by 9, that is 7. Then 7 times 2 is 14. So, when we change 1, 7 and 2, 9 to similar fractions, the answer is 963 and 1463. This 963, if you are going to change it into lowest term, the answer is this one. 1, 7. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 63 divided by 9 is 7. So they are equal fractions. Equal pa rin sila. Let us change the following dissimilar fractions to similar fractions, 3 fourths and 6 eighths. First, we are going to look for the LCD. What is the LCD of 4 and 8? And that is correct, 8. If the bigger denominator is a multiple of the smaller denominator, the LCD is the bigger denominator. So, remember that. So, next step, we are going to divide this 8 to the denominator. 8 divided by 4. What is the answer? Yes, that's 2. Then, 2 times 3. What is the answer? Okay, that's the correct answer is 6. Next, let us divide this 8 to 6, 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 6. The answer is 6. So as you can see, 3 fourths is equal to 6 8 and 6 8 is equal also to 6 8. So hindi na bago yung fraction. So kapag ganyan, pwede na tayo mag-divide. So yun ang ating magiging next 
video. So for today, concentrate tayo sa changing dissimilar to similar. Let us take a look on this example. 4 pips and 6, 7. So what will be the LCD? Okay, banggagaling. The LCD is 35. Rinig na rinig ka mga sagot. So 35. So next, that's correct. We are going to divide. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Then multiply by 4. The answer is correct. 28. How about this one? 35 divided by 7. The answer is 5. 5 times the numerator 6. The answer is 30. So, the similar fractions of 4 pips and 6, 7 is 28, 35, and 30, 35. Ang gagaling. Now, it is your turn. Get your notebook and a piece or a piece of paper together with your ballpen or pencil. And let us try to change this 1 half and 2 7 into similar. Okay, go! Okay, let us check. So the LCD is, good job, 14. You can just simply multiply to the denominator. So 2 times 7, di ba? So 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 2 is, ah, 7 times 1 is 7. Next, 14 divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. So, yan ang ating sagot. 7, 14 and 4, 14. Very good. Tuwan-tuwa naman ako. Next. One more try. Sa mga hindi na ako wakangina, try natin ito. 2 thirds and 3 six. First, remember the LCD of 3 and 6? That's correct. 6. So, 6 divided by 3, 2 times 2 is 4. Very good. Then, 6 divided by 6, 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, tingnan ko nga kung nakuha nila. Ayan, 4, 6, and 3, 6 is the correct answer. Now that you know already the steps or process in changing the similar fractions into similar fraction, we can proceed with our next topic, the addition and subtraction of the similar fractions. Yan ang susunod nating video lesson. I hope na marami kayo natutunan. I hope you understand the lesson. So you can type letter A on our comment section. B if you're still confused. And C if you don't understand the lesson. So I hope na handa na kayo sa ating susunod na Video. So just for now, goodbye mga kamaters, ang mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Again, I am your teacher in math, Sir Johnny Odorvida, now signing off. Bye everyone! Bye-bye!